Welcome to Envisioned Broadcasting Radio. EB Radio. EB Radio. Your station for empowerment presents Mom Boss Talk Radio, a show that brings real life, real moms, and real experiences to empower mom bosses everywhere to be ambitious, highly driven, fierce, fabulous, and fearless. Mom Boss Talk Radio begins now. Mom Bosses, welcome back. We're about to jump into this great discussion on this amazing Thursday. I am one of your hosts, Manetta, and let's just jump into it, okay? Now, we all know to expect the unexpected, okay? And the question of the day, are you prepared when changes occur quickly? That is the question. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I've been looking all over my timeline has been Meta is changing um, their Reels Play bonus program, which if you do not know this program, um, you have to, of course, hit certain criteria. I'm pretty sure you have to have so many, um, you know, followers um, and things of that nature. I have not been fortunate <laughs> to be able to be a part of that. I wish I was able to be, but it's not going to exist any longer um, because they will be cutting this program short. I'm not really sure when they started the program. I don't think it was that long ago, to be completely honest. It might have been in 2020, 2021. Um, but I feel like they only created this um, program to have an, of course, make an initiative, um, you know, to incentivize people utilizing Instagram and Facebook more because they saw how incredibly, you know, um, great TikTok is because I absolutely love TikTok. <laughs> I'm on TikTok um, and they see the, the power of TikTok. And I guess they're trying, they were trying to, you know, of course they're competitors. So they're going to try to compete and, you know, incentivizing reels and monetary gain seemed like the great fit, but I guess it's not, you know, working out like they thought. So they're discontinuing it. I'm not really sure when, but they are in talks of discontinuing the program and no longer paying for reels um, and things of that nature. So that's the question. It's like, are you prepared? Are you prepared when changes occur quickly? Um, and I'm pretty sure people were making up to what, like $35,000 in a month, in a month, just by participating in this program. Um, and now they no longer will be getting paid in that way. So the question lies, like, what now? What do you do when something, you know, that you have, you know, depended on to bring in income no longer is there. And that's something we have to think about. When you're putting all your eggs in one basket, what do you think will happen? Sometimes those things will not last forever. That's why I, you know, I'm always looking at putting my money or putting my energy toward multiple projects. Um, so that way something, something will take, <laughs> something will take. So now as creators, you know, because I am trying to build a platform, I am trying to create content and, you know, all those things as creators is like, okay, now what? Because a lot of creators are on multiple social medias, making money in social, uh, in multiple social media platforms, but those may not last so that of course, comes back to the question, are you prepared? What other things do you have in place? Because if you can't change it, um, if you can't change it, change the way you think about it. And that is by Maya Angelou. Okay, our girl, Miss Maya. Okay, that's what she said. If you can't change it, change the way you think about it. In these instances, some of these people probably, this is their probably first time getting that major amount of money and having a platform pay out in that way. You know, you also can get paid, of course, on TikTok. We've, we've discussed this before, um, but that is news right now. The change of short form video um, for creators on Instagram and Facebook. 
those are, you know, that was a, a way to make money on those platforms. So now that's something that's going to be taken away. Um, and that kind of brings me back also to niching and, you know, not falling into a niche. Um, I was watching something a while back and um, a lot of creators always try to say, stick with one thing, stick with one thing. And for me, I'm a multifaceted person. I like a lot of things. I don't want to just put all of my energy into one thing that I like. And I never understood, I understood the concept, but I never understood why you couldn't play around in all avenues, right? Because if people love you for you and are excited for you, they may be interested in all the things that you do, right? And now recently, they're starting to change their tune. Because just like with the reels, right? A lot of people are just solely focused on, I have to create reels, I have to create reels, I have to create reels. And a lot of times they're not posting, like just making regular posts. They're just focusing on the short form, short form videos. And that can also can go back to Vine, right? When you looked at Vine, it was a very popular app. Everybody was, you know, just in awe of the short, not even, I think what, not even 10 seconds. I think it was like a six second video, very quick. And people put all their energy into that. And once that dissolved, what happened? A lot of those creators had nothing. They didn't, they didn't utilize the attention that they got or their following that they got on Vine and they did not spread it on other platforms or they didn't try to utilize different um, networks and things of that nature to really get their money's worth for their personalities and their, you know, their content. And a lot of people got lost or they also dissolved once Vine dissolved. So it's crazy to look at history and it's crazy to even call it history because it feels like it wasn't even that long it was not that long ago but to even think or even say hey this is now a part of our history is crazy to me crazy mind-boggling and it's like oh my gosh i'm getting old <laughs> i am getting old but anywho we all we have to think of expanding our mind and thinking outside of box and, you know, not spreading ourselves thin, but utilizing our many talents in multiple avenues. And that's why you should not niche down into one particular topic. I feel like you should be able to, for example, I am in fashion. I absolutely love fashion and I'm really trying to dive into that. Um, but I don't want to just focus most of my energy will be put into into fashion, but I don't want to focus on that. I also love, you know, funny things. I love funny filters. I love memes. I love GIFs. That is my love language, FYI, if you did not know. Um, <laughs> so, like, I love the the humorous type of side. So I, I, I can say I have a big personality when I am comfortable to show it. I have a huge personality. So I'm like, I love that type of aspect. So I will post funny things. I will post myself in funny filters and things of that nature. And I get a pretty good, you know, people love it. And I also love food. I also love art. I also love theater. Um, and I love different, you know, things, museums and things of that nature. So I'm like, I can dive into all these different worlds and not lose myself in any of them because they're all a part of me. I do not want to fall victim of being like a, I guess you can say a one hit wonder in the world of social media. You know, I don't want to be that. I don't want to be one noted. I don't want to, you know, I want to be all of the things that I am. And the people who enjoy me will enjoy me. The people who don't, they won't. And that's fine because you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Okay. You're just not, you're not going to be for everybody. And you're not meant to be for everybody. You're meant to have people gravitate to you who are, you know, who love the things that you do that, you know, can relate to you, 
you want those type of people. You just don't want any and everybody to fall into your into your world because they're not going to understand or they're not going to appreciate the things that you are able to provide. And that is the truth. Um, it's very unfortunate that, you know, people who work very hard to create these, you know, that is their job to create these moments, these reels, but they're not lost. Okay. Because you can always repurpose your content in multiple ways. There's going to always be platforms that's going to be created. Um, if TikTok is banned, unfortunately, hopefully it's not. But if it is, guess what? There's going to be another platform that's going to be created that's going to do just as great as TikTok. Okay, we have brilliant minds out in this world and they are very quick on their feet. You know, unfortunately, we're in a world of quick, fast and in a hurry. Um, it's, it's, you know, there's pros and cons to that. But we have to also be mindful of that change. Are you ready and prepared for that change? That is the main question for today. Are you prepared? Are you able to switch when the world switches? Because all the content that you do have, all the things that you do have, all the all the things you know that you have, you can always repurpose it for another platform. Um, you can edit it in a way that can you know fit other you know things that come out. I feel like I'm better when it comes to preparation when change comes. Am I consistent? That's the thing I need to work on. <laughs> Consistency is definitely key and plays a major part if you are trying to, you know, um, make money on these platforms. Consistency, consistency. That's one thing I can say I took out of a lot of people um, saying is consistency. You just need to breathe and trust that things will work out. And you should not, you should always expect the unexpected in every situation. Everything's not going to go as planned, unfortunately. Um, and that's okay. That is quite okay if things don't go as planned. But at least you know you had a plan. At least you know you prepared yourself. You should always, I would say, in your plan, create. A, a section of, you know, expect the unexpected. If things go this way, are you prepared? Are you, if things go that way, what do you have in place? If you're that type of person that needs to see it on paper, if you are that type of person that needs it written down in your plan, make that part, make that part of it. You can call it the expect the unexpected plan. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whatever works for you. Whatever works for you. But seeing all these, you know, and that's not only the changes in social media and how they're going to, you know, incentivize people ut utilizing their platforms. It's also, you know, the changes in the workforce in itself. And we've seen a huge, that's a huge change in itself. And that's why people are trying to gravitate towards social media, because that's where a lot of money comes from. They know if they build a loyal audience or build an audience that complies with the requirements for these platforms to be monetized, that they'll be able to bring in extra income. These are extra incomes for a lot of people. And sometimes these are just so in incomes for a lot of people. And I want people to understand um, a lot of followers, you know, a million followers does not equate to a lot of money. Let's put that out there because a lot of people think, oh, in order for me to be successful and have a lot of money, I have to have, you know, over a half a million followers or I have to have a million and more followers. But just because you have that amount does not equate to money. Followers do not equate to money. Quality and loyalty equate to money. I can have 5,000 I can have 5,000 followers and make more money than someone who has a million followers because of the consistency, because of the quality, because of the loyalty of the people that are following me. A lot of times that that can throw people off too. I personally, I just want enough to be able to qualify for the you know, monetization and that type of thing. That's what I want. OK, and that's on all platforms. I rather just have enough. You know, I would like the loyal, the, you know, 
um, consistent following. I don't need that many people. <laughs> I really don't need that many. I don't need half a million. I don't need a million. I don't even need, I don't even need 250,000. I don't even need, you know, I just, I just want to build a community that is like-minded, who is, you know, who's passionate, who loves the things that I love. We can talk through comments, you know, we can, you know, just build that camaraderie and just kind of build that that community. That's what I want. That's what I personally want. I don't need all of the, th- you know, the, the, the bells and whistles. I really don't. I really, really don't. <laughs> that's just me. But that's a good question. That is a good question to ask yourself. Are you prepared? If you're in this realm, if this is what you do, um, that is a good question to ask yourself. Am I prepared? And don't limit yourself to one topic. Do not limit yourself to um, small things. Don't do that to yourself. That's all I have to say. I hope, I really hope that you got something out of it. Do your own research when it comes to Meta. Um, I've been seeing it up and down my timeline. Um, I did not, and let me just reiterate, reiterate, I did not get, I was not part of that program. Um, I was hoping at one point, maybe one day, um, because my reels get pretty, you know, are pretty decent. Um, but building a following takes a lot and like, you have to be consistent. You have to like show, it's like, you know, like you have to show your product. You're like a product pretty much, unfortunately, but you're a product and people want to see what they can get out of this product. Um, like that's with providing content, like what content are you putting out? And I'm not putting out a lot all the time. And that's where my, my issue and my, like, I know my faults and flaws. Let's be clear. I know my faults and flaws. <laughs> okay. And I know what I need to work on. And consistency is key because I feel like if I was more consistent, I would get what I want. Um, so I'm working on that, but yeah, ask yourself, are you prepared? Cause things are changing and they changing quick. Okay. So yeah, I hope somebody got something out of it. Do your research. Okay. Look it up for yourself and get prepared. That's all I have to say. I do appreciate you tuning in. Okay. I hope you got something out of this message um, to all the mom bosses out there. We are on a mission. Okay. To empower moms all over the world, be ambitious, highly driven, fierce, fabulous, and fearless. You are making moves. You got this. Thank you for joining us on Mom Boss Talk Radio. Follow each of the Mom Bosses on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you love Mom Boss Radio, visit the website at www.envisionedbroadcasting.com. We'd love for you to subscribe, rate, and give a review on iTunes. Until next time.